Hey there, Internet. You're with Got That Funk. This is a video response to a couple of comments that I got on uh, my video, Let Me Know, a week or so ago. Um, first one was from my friend Curis, one, who asked me how I felt about being exploited now that I work in construction. So to give a bit of background to that, Curis and I have been acquainted for quite a long time here on YouTube, and when we met, I was the owner of my own business. I ran a body piercing studio. Uh, I did that for 14 years, uh, ending in 2012. Okay. Anyway, and um, the long story is uh, too much to go into in this video, but suffice to say that uh, I got into construction because it was the only work going that I could get in, uh, in Cornwall uh, after I split up with my girlfriend. And then subsequently, when I moved up country, um, you know, there's plenty of work going up here in the capital uh, in construction so am I being exploited I don't feel like I'm being exploited because I make more money than I did when I owned my own business um, sure I, I graft my ass off I work really hard uh, especially for someone my age it's not very easy but you know I, I don't feel like I'm being exploited I enjoy what I do insofar as I'm learning new things and I'm learning things about people that uh, I otherwise would have had no opportunity to learn. Um, so, you know, I look at the good side, Curious, uh, in whatever situation I find myself in. I try to extract goodness from it. Am I being exploited insofar as uh, the pay that I receive? No, not yet. You know, I'm not really an uh, expert at what I'm doing. And so, therefore, I don't think I deserve more than beginner's wages at what I do and I, that's what I get paid having said that in the two years that I've worked for the company that I've worked for um, I've had three raises that I didn't have to ask for so you know I, I them totals up if I add it up that's 600 pound a month more now than I made when I first started the company two years ago so yeah, that's uh, you know, it's not nothing. I, that's why I don't feel like I'm being exploited. It's not as if you have to chase them for money. Uh, when your time comes and they feel like you've earned it, they'll just bump your money up. Um, because there is a lot of competition for work, and you, you could certainly get, uh, you know, if I wanted to shop around, I could probably get better pay. But I like working for the same people that I'm working for at the moment, and uh, so that's why I do what I do. So the other comment I wanted to respond to is from my. Uh, Longtime viewer Theo Hagee, it's nice to know you're still out there. And he asked me, you know, as an American living in Britain, what I sort of thought about, uh, you know, this country. In term, I think he just meant the country itself, as in you know, the place. Um, and he was mentioning how he thought there's always too much emphasis put on London. Now, I live in London now, but when I didn't live in London, which was the first 25 years that I lived in this country, I didn't live in London, or 24. Um, I, I always felt very much that London gets too much attention. I still feel that way now that I live here. Um, having said that, uh, you know, I didn't have not, considering how long I've lived in this country, I haven't done as much traveling within the UK as I might have liked. I still haven't gone to Scotland, which I consider a travesty of my own making. Um, but I've been to Wales. I love Wales. I love the, the mountains in Wales are great. Um, I've been all around the southwest of the UK. When I lived in Dorset, I'm not exaggerating when I say I have visited every hamlet and village and town in Dorset. Um, because my uh, ex and I, we used to go exploring for um, uh, ancient sites because you could find stuff that isn't always on the ordnance survey map. And so we used to, we literally visited everywhere over the course of the time we lived there. Um, so that was kind of cool, and I've traveled a lot around Cornwall as well, even though I only lived in one part of it. I've, I've, as a visitor before I moved to Cornwall, I used to uh, visit all sorts of different parts of Cornwall. I love, I love the southwest of the UK, um, but there's other parts of the UK that I really would like to see. I'd like to go up to sort of Cumbria. Um, I'd like to see Yorkshire. You know, I've never been up that way, really. I think, I, I actually never is too strong a word. I, when I learned how to be a body piercer, I got my uh, lessons in Doncaster. Um, and that's as far north as I've ever been. But I literally went straight there and came straight back. So I didn't really travel around the interior too much. Been in Birmingham a few times. Uh, but most of my experience in the UK is in the, the south and southwest. 
Um, the Neolithic sites in Dorset and Cornwall and Devon in particular are fantastic. And I used to have a very strong hobby of going and checking them all out. Um, I, I, you know, as I come from California, where uh, most buildings aren't much more than a hundred years old because of earthquakes, so you know I've lived in buildings older than that in this country, plenty of them, um, and I've visited buildings that are significantly older. Uh, so I like that. You know, the, the the southwest of the UK has a certain amount of charm. I really like it. Cornwall, in particular, I think has a certain magic to it. Um, I very much like how down to earth people are in Cornwall. Um, and yeah, I think the, the, the UK at large probably does get underrated internationally because people do tend to focus on London, which in a way is fair enough because London is one of the greatest cities in the world. It's right up there. Um, you know, the whole world is in London. I think it's fantastic. And uh, it's got plenty of beautiful architecture and fantastic nightlife and great places to eat and, you know, interesting uh, things to do. So. Yeah, I understand why people make a fuss about London, but that doesn't mean I don't think that the rest of the country is getting its fair shake. All right, thanks for watching this video. I got one more coming out in a little while that will be in response to my friend Freethinker3161. Thanks for watching this video. I look forward to a discussion in the comment section or a video response if you feel like it. Till next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.